In this episode, you will learn to master a fantastic fish entree with minimal effort and stunning results. I'm Chef Kai. Today, I've got a healthy dish for you. Pan-roasted Atlantic salmon and soy with steamed vegetables and soft herbs. So let's get started. All of the ingredients can be found at your local farmer's market. Be sure to always inspect your fish for freshness. So I've got my Atlantic salmon here that I'm gonna marinate quickly just in a little bit of soy sauce. I got some uh, ground coriander seed and a little bit of brown ginger with some fresh cracked black pepper. One tablespoon and a half of soy and half a teaspoon of ground coriander seed and ground ginger. Just gently move the fish through the spices and the soy. When ready to cook your fish, make sure it's been at room temperature for at least 15 minutes prior to cooking. This will ensure that it cooks evenly throughout. Heat a pan with grapeseed oil until hot, drain off the excess marinade, then gently place the fish in the pan to sear on both sides. Take our red pepper. Clean out a little bit more of the membrane here. The same thing, pretty much just moving the julienne on the bias. And these here, if you come on over here, these we're gonna throw right into the roasting pan in the oven at the last minute. So take our, take our salmon out. I'm gonna add these green onions right into the pan in the last minute. This is the lemongrass for my green onion emulsion that I'm gonna do. So you just want to bust that apart just like that. Chef has taken the ingredients and briefly submerged them into boiling salted water, strained them and shocked them under cold water to stop the cooking process. This allows the vegetables to retain their colour and crunch. Alright, that's good. I've got my lemongrass green onion that I've blanched right into my blender. A little bit of sea salt, a vegetable oil, a quarter cup of water. So halfway through the process, we're gonna open the lid up, spinach. What that's gonna do is just thicken it a little bit and you get a little bit more green flavor out of it. And look at the bright, vibrant green color of that sauce. I'm gonna add it to my sauce pot because I'm gonna heat it. Now it's really important to mention that uh, we're not gonna boil the sauce. You're never gonna boil it or else it's gonna split. Taste and spoon. Give the emulsion a little taste. Check the seasoning. And there you have it. Really, really beautiful salmon steak marinated in soy, a little bit of pepper, green onions. What I've got here is my two sauce pots. Okay. A quarter cup of coconut cream. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of my green onion emulsion with lemongrass to that. I'm not gonna boil it, I'm just gonna heat them both, bring them both up to temperature and then turn it off. At that point, we're gonna marinate the vegetable. Three, four, five tablespoons. Before I serve the sauce, I'm gonna pass it through a fine chinois that will catch any of the strays of lemongrass that sometimes, occasionally don't get blended up. This is a little sauce technique. Here's the last part of the dish, okay? Half a cup of fresh julienne snow peas, a quarter cup of red peppers. And we're also gonna use the juices of the lime, okay? Right after we add a bit of sea salt and pepper, a really fresh, bright, raw salad. In the next few minutes, these are gonna soften up. So I'll leave those to the side. The first thing we're gonna do is go down to the bowl with our sauce of coconut and green onion emulsion. When plating the finished product, keep in mind that a balance of textures flavors and visuals like all play an important role. 
gonna set the salmon right on top of the green onions. This is the vegetable for the dish. Last part of the dish, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of lime right on top and a chiffonade of fresh parsley here that I've washed earlier. Pick the leaves down and let it dry in the paper towel. So just gather your leaves together again. Same deal, just get rid of that little stalk there. Just put all your leaves together like this. Light chiffonade of Italian parsley to finish the dish. So just take your parsley, sprinkle it right over top there. There's one sexy salmon steak. Hope you enjoyed my meal today. Very healthy salmon dish. Try the recipe, you know you want to.